Beyond the New and welcome aboard. My name is Kim Dickey and I'm one of the owners of the French Canal Boat Company. We own and operate two luxury barges that cruise through some of the most iconic waterways of France. Our week-long cruises are perfectly designed to immerse our guests in the best of French food, wine, and history. Today we are on the beautiful and historic Nivernay Canal in Burgundy, and we've invited our friend Jordan from Paris down for the day. Jordan is going to take you through an actual day on board and give you a real authentic feel for what it's like to spend a day with Le Papillon. Le Papillon is our flagship barge. She cruises in Burgundy and she is newly remodeled, has a maximum of four guests on board, and she is celebrating her 120th anniversary next year. Let's meet Jordan and get on with the tour. Good morning, it's time for breakfast on board Le Papillon. We have a nice breakfast before setting out on our cruise down Le Niverne. Bonjour, so this morning I decided to have my coffee and some cookies out on this beautiful and really comfortable deck. Um, just it's so peaceful and sun is shining on the water, birds are chirping, it's so peaceful, such a nice escape from Paris. Life on the barge. So we are here with Louis, who actually knows quite a bit about the history of the Papillon. Would you be able to tell us a little bit more about the story of the barge and a little bit of history? Um, well, uh, my association with the Papillon goes back uh, over 40 years now. Bought it up in Holland to make a uh, hotel boat um, in the very early 80s. And uh, before me, Papillon had a steam engine once upon a time and worked up and down the river Meuse in uh, Belgium and Holland. And then when we bought it all those years ago, it was filled with Mars bars from the factory in the countryside, running all the way to Rotterdam where they like lots of Mars bars. <laughs> Didn't know what else they'd do with them. And uh, then we brought it back to France to a little town on the Nivernay Canal called Maille-Ville and we turned it into uh, the hotel barge she is today. Wonderful. Well, that's quite the story. Um, and what would you say from your experiences, what do the guests really enjoy the most about barge cruising? Well, um, we put out a questionnaire a few years ago uh, with five questions. Number one said the scenery, number two said the food, three said the wine, and number four was anything that we haven't asked you. And that went straight to number one, question number four. And everybody wrote down in the little box provided. And I hope the view from our floating hotel changed every day. We never had to unpack and pack every day while moving along. Okay, excellent. So actually, I believe if I read correctly, it's the French Canal Boat Company that owns the Papillon and another barge. Could you tell us a little bit more about that? Well, the French Canal Boat Company has uh, owned the Papillon since the early 80s. It is now, in France, the longest established barging company. It beats all the other competition by quite a few years. And 
that means we've got an enormous store of experience in making sure people get the right sort of holiday and cruise on the especially small, windy little canals. And uh, we even offer another barge to the Nymphia down in the Loire Valley, cruising on the Cher River under the Chateau of Chenonceau every week. Wow, that sounds gorgeous as well. So, Chris, as a former guest aboard and now a partial owner of the Papillon, what is your favorite part of the experience and, and what led you to really take part ownership? My wife and I are Francophiles and we love any excuse to spend time in France. So why not jump onto an adventure and purchase a canal barge? Right on. We get to enjoy the food, the culture, the wine, the people. That's awesome. A table. It's time to have lunch on the boat. And we have this beautiful tranquil setting here, just on the canal, accompanied by amazing French food and of course a wine pairing from the region. So what kinds of cheeses do we have today here? So we have Epoise, a nice local cheese from Burgundy, and it's nicely ripe. It's just starting to run on the outside. It was made by monks originally, and it's washed in Marg of Burgoyne. So it's washed in alcohol to stop a rind or um, a flowering rind from forming on it, like you have with other camembert or even with the, the cotel, you can see it's slightly white on the outside. So it's quite pungent in, in smell, but it is, has a really lovely taste to it. And the, the Cotin de Chevignon is from the Loire, the near Loire Valley, Sancerre area. So that's a small, semi firm goat's cheese. It's so peaceful here. The sun is shining, the birds are chirping. We just went on this little hike up here to get a better view and to get some exploration in and it is so worth it i mean this is just gorgeous there she is cruising in the distance the papillon everyone out on the deck enjoying this gorgeous sunshine that we're having lately and with such a tranquil cruise down the river who has spent a lot of time on barge cruises and I was wondering for you what is the most unique or special aspect that guests get when they are taking a barge cruise? What differentiates it from another cruise experience? What I think is really nice is you can travel to many different countries around the world and you go to the restaurants and you go to the places in the tour guide or that you've heard, seen about, you've seen all the sites but you really don't get a feel of the people or the country itself. And when you're on the barge, you are going slowly through the countryside and you're going off on visits every day and you're actually interacting or it's being interpreted what's being said with the local visits, whether it be cheese making or wine tasting or um, pottery, whatever it may be. 
experiencing what French life is like a little bit anyway, you don't even get the same sensation when you hire a car and you drive through the countryside because you don't know where to stop and you're not knocking at somebody's door and going into their house. So it really is a bite out of French life and that is the nice thing about a barge cruise as opposed to other holidays that you may take in France. Bite out of French life, I love that. Jordan couldn't spend the whole day with us today, but we've invited her to come back again and experience a wine tasting with us and one of the chef's incredible creations for dinner. Following is a very polished video that we previously created on board Le Papillon along the Burgundy Canal. We hope you enjoy it and thank you for taking the time to spend with us in the Destination Theater. How do I love thee? Let me count the ways. I love thee to the depth and breadth and height my soul can reach when feeling out of sight for the ends of being and ideal grace. I love thee to the level of every day's most quiet need by sun and candlelight. I love thee freely as men strive for right. I love thee purely as they turn from praise. I love thee with a passion put to use in my old griefs and with my childhood's faith. I love thee with a love I seem to lose with my lost saints. I love thee with the breath, smiles, tears of all my life, and if God choose, I shall but love thee better after death.